Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressor channel. Jay-Z sat down with Van Jones on CNN and he had a very interesting interview and he discussed several topics including his marriage, um, the Me Too movement and racism in America, etc. One of the things that made headlines were his comments about Donald Trump. We have a president that comes and says every African country is a shithole country. I mean, how does that land with you as a dad? Yeah, that's, it's, it's like, it's disappointing and it's hurtful. It really is hurtful more so. Like, it, everyone feels anger. But, but after the anger, it's really hurtful because it's like, you're like looking down on a whole population of people. And you're so misinformed because these places have beautiful people and have beautiful everything. Um, and it's just, like, this is the leader of the free world speaking like this. But on the other side, this has been going on. This is how people talk. This is how they talk behind closed doors. There was a moment where Donald Sterling had been exposed as this racist on a private phone conversation that he was having, and they took his team from him. And it's like, okay, that's one way to do it. But another way would have been, let him have his team, and then let's talk about it together, and let's, and let's have, have maybe discussion. some penalties. But because once you do that, all the other closet races just run back in the hole. You have done, you haven't fixed anything. What you've done was spray perfume on a trash can. Mm -hmm. And what you do when you do that is, you know, the bugs come and you spray something and then they come and then you create a super bug, right? Because you don't take care of the problem. You don't take the trash out. You just keep spraying whatever over it to make it acceptable. And then, you know, as those things grow, and you create a super bug, and then now we have Donald Trump, the super bug. I'm being funny. I think I say that too, but somewhere along his his lineage, something happened to him. Something happened to him. Something happened to him, and he's in pain, and he's like expressing it in this sort of way. Van Jones also asked Jay Z a question on whether or not it was okay for Donald Trump to say horrible things but turn around and give people money and jobs. And this is related to Donald Trump taking credit for lowering black unemployment rates. And Jay-Z was like, no, that's not the point. At the end of the day, you have to treat people like human beings. Money doesn't equate to happiness or self-respect. So you can't make comments degrading African countries and turn around and expect praise from the black community because you hand out jobs here and there. And Donald Trump responded to Jay-Z and he said this, Somebody please inform Jay-Z that because of my policies, black unemployment has just been reported to be the lowest rate ever recorded. First of all, Donald Trump needs to stop taking credit for the eight years of groundwork President Obama put in to rebuild this country's economy and provide millions of jobs for people across the nation. Seriously, stop it. Donald Trump would have never been able to build this country back up from the horrible recession it was in the way President Obama did. Anyway, I find it interesting how he would take the time to respond to Jay-Z. And mind you, Jay's comments were a lot more thoughtful and less offensive than some of the things that have been said about Donald Trump. However, Trump responded to Jay, but notice he didn't respond to Eminem who openly criticized and berated Trump on several occasions. Scotland might have to be our new home because right now shit ain't going so well in the States and I just want to take this moment out right now to say motherfucking Donald Trump. Eminem dissed Trump during his freestyle on the BET Hip Hop Cypher and you notice Trump never said one word. You know why? You guessed it. Obviously because he's white. Trump knows better than to go against Eminem because a lot of Trump supporters are also Eminem fans. Trump is not gonna respond and give Eminem the power to turn his younger supporters against him. No way. That is a battle he will lose. Now, I wanted to say this for a while. The only reason Eminem dissed Trump in the first place is to revive his career and to get publicity for his new album. If Trump responded to Eminem, oh boy, that would have been good publicity for him. But Trump never said a word, and Eminem was really upset by that. Cypher, were you extremely angry? I, I was I and it. am still extremely angry. Yes. And I can't stand that motherfucker, and I feel like I feel like he's not paying attention to me. Okay. And I was kind of waiting for him to say something. He like, has Twitter fingers, yeah. Yeah, and for some reason, he didn't say anything. He no to smoke. be continued. To yeah. be continued. It's funny how Eminem hates Trump now that he's president, 
But years ago at the MTV Awards, he had Trump come out and introduce him in a presidential skit. He's got brains, he's got guts, and he's got Donald Trump's vote. Ladies and gentlemen, our great candidate, Slim Shady. Americans like you and like me, like me. I am honored by your support and hereby accept your nomination. You see, Trump and Eminem are more alike than even M realizes. Donald Trump has shown his racist colors already, especially when he called the white supremacists in the Charlottesville riots very fine people. When Eminem was younger, before he came quote unquote woke, he used racist rhetoric in his early music too. Black girls are bitches. That's why I'ma tell you, you better pull up your bridges. Never date a black girl because blacks only want your money. And that's it ain't funny. And all the girls that I like the bone have the big butt. No, they don't, cause I don't like that nigga shit. I just here to make a bigger hit. You see, Trump isn't gonna call out Eminem because at the end of the day, birds of a feather gotta stick together. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Tell me what you all think down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you care. See you next time. Bye.